Hey friends, it's Shane from HowToWrench.com and ToolsToWrench.com. In today's video, I'm going to do a little reminder video about quality tools and we're going to be talking about screwdrivers today and then features of screwdrivers. And many of you have probably run into this. I have this one stubborn rusted bolt here that the integrity of the bolt head is perfectly fine. The nut on the back side here is perfectly fine. It's just that it's rusted like crazy. This thing has uh, not been apart in a significant amount of time. And just to kind of show you how long it's been sitting, look at what happened when I tried to take the battery apart. She broke. So, typically, you put your screwdriver in there. I grabbed the stubby first. And when I grabbed the wrench on here, this whole thing wants to turn. It's so seized, it's so rusted that I cannot get it off. Let me show you that. When I grab onto the wrench here, it's just wanting to turn the whole screwdriver as well. I cannot get enough grip. Even if I try to really force down on this, I cannot grip it. So the option is to know your tools. You can see we have the screwdriver that has the mount to put a wrench on there to create some extra leverage. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I've had this set of snap-on screwdrivers for 20 years. They've really served me well. And as a new tech, one of the things I'd recommend is instead of having to guess or you know figure out what size that is I recommend you take a lot of tools I don't even know if you can see it anymore it's right here it's barely on there it's kind of faded I have a three on there and that three stood for three eighths because there's no other fractional wrenches with three so I just engraved that little three on there anytime I grab this very quickly I could grab that three eighths Late, years later, you won't need it. But in the beginning, that's a great little tip to go ahead and uh, make things fast. So check out how I'm going to use it. But now when I get back in place, I can actually go ahead and hold that tight enough to have enough leverage to go ahead and get that fastener out without damaging the bolt. And that's our whole goal. What we're trying to do is avoid stripping this stuff and so many times new techs come up and they go oh, this bolt stripped or oh I need to cut this off or whatnot there's almost always a better way than drilling and cutting something off there's so much human error that goes into making it so bad that we don't have another option there's other ways to get nuts and bolts out so I would suggest that you head on over to the YouTube channel subscribe check out our website at the dot coms of both of those and uh, share this lesson if you know any new techs that would really benefit from knowing about the screwdriver tip, pass it on my friends. As always, keep wrenching and we'll talk to you again soon.